Hi, I'm Chris Iverson. I'm a software design engineer at Microsoft. I work on 3D printing in the operating systems group. Today I'd like to introduce you to Microsoft's 3D Builder application. It's available for free in the Windows Store. Today we are introducing Kinect scanning integration. So now you can perform a full 3D reconstruction using the Kinect V2 sensor and you can load it in 3D Builder and prepare it for a 3D printer. I'm Tim Franklin, and I am a quality lead for interactions on the Kinect sensor. I'm Francis, and I am Tim's fiance. We're using 3D Builder and the Kinect sensor to create a cake topper for our wedding. We're getting married next week, and we really wanted to create a action figure that kind of represented us, and we thought the best thing to do would just be to scan us. So let me tell you some of the things that you should consider when you prepare to scan. The most important thing is for the subject to remain very still. So if you're scanning a person, for example, um, I've found that it's best to start from a back or a side, uh, to go slowly around the subject and to end on the front side of the subject, and hold that for a few seconds. You can do the scan by yourself, but it's always, I've found out it's always been helpful to have a partner, somebody that can sit at the workstation uh, and press the uh, reset and reconstruction buttons. It's also important that your computer have a good uh, GPU. Uh, that will increase the frame rate, and the frame rate is very important for the object reconstruction. Uh, 3D Builder will show you the frame rate uh, of the scan. 30 frames per second is considered the best. If you fall down below 6 or 8 frames per second, that's kind of the bare minimum. You can probably get a good face shot, uh, but it will be very difficult to get a 360 degree scan. The V2 technology is really excellent. It's resilient to lighting conditions. Uh, and it produces gorgeous 3D meshes with full color. Here is the scan of Tim and Francis. Let me show you some of the things we can do in 3D Builder. First, you'll see that it, the item is selected in red, indicating that there's a, a problem. It says up here that the object is larger than a printable area. This is because Tim and Francis scanned in at real scale, and the print, printer that we're going to uh, print from is much smaller. I can just click this and it will fix it for me automatically. Now all the scan data is inside this cube. Uh, there's some things here that I don't want. So I'm going to select my edit control and I'm going to choose this tool called plane cut. Plane cut's like a knife and it lets me select the things that, uh, lets me cut away the things I don't want. And I can just kind of move it around like this. You can see what parts are going to stay in the uh, model and which parts will be removed. Let me cut off that little chunk right there. And uh, there's another chunk over there. You can see I'm going to try to delete that with the, the plain cut tool. There, that's excellent. So next, let me uh, repair this object. It indicates here that the object is not yet printable, but I can fix that automatically by clicking this button and using the online repair service that's built into 3D Builder. Repairing a model can take some time, so please be patient. You can see here that the model of Tim and Francis has been repaired and is ready for printing. 3D Builder was optimized for touch. You can see I have it here on a Surface Pro 3, and it responds to all the common gestures. Let me add a trophy base to this model. I'm going to add it from our file library, trophy part. Let's pick this one here. And I'm going to perform some of these operations all using touch, so you can see how it all comes together. Let me select this. Here's a multi-select control over here. You can see I've got just the base selected, and I'm going to perform a rotate. And I can grab these arrows, and I can rotate this into the position I want. Next, I'm going to scale this. And you can unlock the scale here so that it doesn't preserve, preserve aspect ratio. I'm going to grab this control right here. I'm going to flatten this. That looks pretty good. I'm also going to stretch this a little bit that way, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm going to perform a move by clicking that Move button there and sliding that into position. That's pretty good. Let me move this a little bit this way like that. Maybe adjust it that way. There, that looks great. And you can see how touch worked wonderful with this design. Let's check out this model. This is the output we printed of the scan of Tim and Francis. It's in full color. It's very large. And this is actually the very first uh, Kinect scan printed through our online print bureau. 3D Builder is available for free from the Windows Store. 
For more information about Connect and Connect Scanning, you can visit connectforwindows.com.